Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class, Scourge. Now, of course, Scourge we've gotten before from the Generations line, but that one was not quite as G1 style as this one is. And of course, this being from the Titans Return line, this is in a G1, this is a Headmaster as well. Or a Titan Master, if you prefer. Looking at this Titan Master, it's pretty decent. I mean, the detailing on it's alright. It does actually have a painted face and visor. I don't know if you can see that. And even its legs got a little bit of paint. So, it's actually pretty nicely painted and detailed for a little Titan Master. Of course, on the back, you just got Scourge's face just kind of hanging there. Or Scourge's face. Scourge, is it Scourge or Scourge? Scourge? I think I believe it's Scourge. My bad. Uh, you can see his vehicle mode is very much a G1 style updated kind of thing. Like, it looks a lot like the G1 st vehicle, but just updated with modern details and paint and. It looks pretty nice overall. You do get a nice big Decepticon symbol right here. It is split in half due to how he transforms, which I think kind of still looks cool. Um, mine does not hold together quite right. This the, the part on this side here seems to stick up slightly compared to the right side. And yeah, he is a shell former pretty much, including panels just kind of hanging off the bottom. We'll get to these panels later. These are just kind of annoying. They did try to hide them since they did try to like detail some guns in them, at least make them look like gun like uh, weapons in vehicle mode, but yeah. It kind of looks weird and kind of gives a very blocky appearance. It looks really odd in some angles. But it looks fine, I mean, this piece is removable from for the robot mode, so be careful of that because they could, you know, watch out for that for getting this used or something. But you can pop this part open right here, take his type master, just sit him on in there. And just there, now he's flying his vehicle. Pretty cool. First size comparison, here he's next to his leader Gal to uh, Voyager Galvatron in his spaceship mode. And you can see, yep, typical deluxe class. But with this in uh, the Combiner Wars uh, Cyclonus, you could actually have a full squadron going now. So yeah, he's really nicely done. I do like all the colors you get here. And I do mention the colors because wait till we get the robot mode. We get the nice dark blue here, get some of the lighter shades of the kind of teal blue at the front here to kind of make it look like a cockpit or something. Or maybe just like little windows. And then you get the very, very light blue going for most of the vehicle mode. Actually, I would say it's probably about, I would say about half of it's the light blue, about 30%, like 40% this, and then like a 10% of the little teal here. But yeah, it does look pretty nice. It does look, in the detailing, the shape does very much remind me of a uh, Scourge, and you even have like the shoulders kind of disguised in the back for uh, engines. Now this is a remold of Highbrow, um, for it's just kind of backwards because Highbrow has cockpit here on this side, and it'll clip over the Titan Master head. And you, it's for the most part it's actually kind of hard to tell that this is a high, Highbrow was remolded from this, or this was remolded from Highbrow. But we'll get to one transformation element later that you'll see what I mean. He does have another accessory. He has this little thing that a Type Master could sit in. It's just a nice little gun. You can put right there and it'll kind of help hide that gap going down the vehicle. He does hold the garage, just sometimes starts coming apart. But yeah, you can give him their weapon and it looks alright on him. Certainly arms him up. I just hate these gaps and all these weapons. And you do also some, some Titan Master pegs in the front so you can have a Type Master staying on the ship while it's flying. If you so wish while they're flying through space and possibly would fall off. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little vehicle. Transform, there is some parts forming as you do gotta remove this piece. And this you can add on to his gun he already had to make a triple barreled cannon. Which is pretty cool. And you do gotta remove the Titan Master from the cockpit as this space actually gets filled during transformation. So Transform, as I mentioned, it's a shell former, so you're gonna just come to the sides, undo these panels, and bring them on up. That'll form his wings, basically. Go ahead and untap the arms from the side and bring them on down. Flip out the hands. Split the whole front of this and bring the legs on down. This is where I'm talking about. You can kind of start seeing where Highbrow, you know, he's a remold from Highbrow. Highbrow's a remold from him because, yeah, you got this whole bit here. Except with a twist. Exactly. And then you just collapse it on in. Then you're going to rotate them to the hollow parts at the front. Flip the front of the vehicle forward to make his heels, and flip the inner part out to make his feet. 
Yes, we'll get to why this is weird later. Take these panels, come around with a double hinge, and it'll actually clip in the form of the front of his leg. Do the same over here. Flip, click it on in. So yeah, those panels' whole existence were just to form the legs, basically. And we'll get to why that's kind of dumb later. We'll straighten out the arms. Go ahead and flush out the wings. I kind of like having them at this angle, slightly angled at first, and then straightening out. And finally, take his tight master, fold them up, and we're gonna just pop them on in. Thankfully, his tight master does hold in better as a head than high brows did. And there is an extra bit of transformation as you can take the scope on top of his head and extend it. And there you have Scor Titan Rooster Return Scourge in his robot mode. Now we have him in his robot mode, let's go ahead and get comparisons out of the way with the infamous Titan's Return Galvatron. You can see decent size, you know, for deluxe. Works pretty well. Comes up to about Galvatron's chest. And let's talk about some of Scourge's own infamies. Well, for one, you can see in robot mode, he's pretty much all that dark blue. Just the dark blue. All that pretty, all the other colors he had went to the back. And pretty much all the colors he did have was a foot of vehicle mode. His robot mode is just all dark blue. Which I guess kind of works for Scourge, but it could have used something to break it up. <laughs> Excuse me. It could have used something to break up. I mean, it does have some stickers here, like the silver with little black details on the chest and on the legs. He has like one little tiny bit of green paint right there. And he has a Decepticon symbol there. Or sigil. And that is it for his, deep, for his paint. Different colors from dark blue. All the rest of it is just pure dark blue. And it just doesn't work for me. I don't really like monochrome transformers unless that's their style. And Scorch does not quite pull it off. Especially with how different colored his vehicle mode was. And this is where these panels bug me because these panels' whole existence are to form his legs. Meanwhile, if you just, as you saw you do a twist earlier, if you just do this, look at that color on the legs. Sure, there's still a lot of dark blue on it, but at least it's painted dark blue that looks a little bit different. And honestly, the legs actually look more accurate now to the cartoon. But the problem is now you have these panels back here and now they block articulation because his knee can only do that much. While going the other way, they can do that much. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this way for now. But yeah, that's my problem is that you're really just kind of stuck with these colors if you don't like them. Another thing is that head, because Scourge always had like kind of a long, thin head, he looks a little odd since he now has like extra pieces on the side, which it can kind of be remedied if you pop Titanmaster's arms off, like so. And then you have Scourge's head looking a bit more normal because it doesn't have a square block around it. But then it kind of looks, it looks kind of small after once you do that. I don't know, it makes his head look a little too scrawny almost. It's kind of pick your poison. Do you want it to look slightly too small or do you want it to be looking like a blockhead? Personally, I don't want to lose the uh, tight master arms, so I just keep them on there. But if you do want his hot head looking thin as it's clearly supposed to, then you can pop the arms off. Oh, he is nicely painted on the face. He's got the red eyes painted. He's got the silver, silver for the rest of his face. I do wish his mustache and beard got like some black or at least some gray to kind of help break it up. But it does look nice. It is a good Scorch head sculpt. Just needs a little work. It's kind of like the rest of the figure. It's, it's a good sculpt. It just needs some extra work with your paint or stickers. And you can fix this with repo labels. They do have plain labels to go stickers to go all over this guy to make him look better. And as mentioned, he does have some nice detail. I do like how the chest is detailed. It looks like a heavy body armor kind of look. And um, other than the arms being hollow, there's nothing really wrong with them for me. I do like the details on the side here. Despite that just being a giant tab hole for transformation, it does look fine, you know? They actually managed to work it into like a detail almost. And as far as, articulate, uh, as far as articulation goes, he's really good too. His head does swivel all around as it does with most Titan Masters. It does look up and down slightly, mainly up. These are on ball joints on the inside and due to how they are uh, sculpted, you do get some forward and back movement. Outward you get a decent amount. And you do get full rotation. You get a swivel, although it does try to slide off the mushroom peg a lot, but you do get a full swivel. 
and you do get a 90 degree elbow. Hands can kind of go in and out due to transformation, not too useful there. He does have a, a waist swivel, but it's that thing there, so you have to kind of pull it out this far. So yeah, let's just say he doesn't actually have a waist swivel. Hips go forward, they go back, they go outward, you do, you do get a swivel there as well. You do get a just under 90 degree knee, and you could get a little bit of foot articulation out of that due to the two hinges they're made out of. So you can get him in a more, I don't know what you would call it pose, but in a really crazy pose, looks like maybe he's about to take off or something. And of course the wings are on hinges, you do have a hinge here and a hinge in the middle. So you could kind of split those however you want, you can fold them back, uh, they do kind of collapse in on themselves if you don't want the wings out. You can kind of collapse them up like that if you want to put the wings away, but they're kind of part of the character for me, so I kind of just leave them out at this angle. Now if you switch the legs around, as I mentioned earlier, the hips and swivels are all fine, but the knees don't quite work. As I mentioned, that panel just gets in the way and it just gets you barely any knee at all. Granted, you can flip that panel inward like so, and have it like that, but then you're stuck with that panel just kind of sitting there, and if you have both of them, there's no room for the legs even to stand together. But you would get a full knee if you want it. So I would kind of just recommend if you want these knee articulations, just flip the panel out for whichever ones you're going to use a knee for. And that's about all for Titan's Return Scourge. Uh, really decently articulated really good articulation, really good sculpting and transformation, just a lot of flaws due to just not enough paint, to be honest. Just If it bugs you that much, I would say go for the Legends version, but this one I think can get by with stickers. At least his monochrome blue matches Scourge, unlike Blur. It actually kind of, at least, these colors at least still fit in for the character, he just needs some other colors to kind of help break it up. Oh yeah, and he can hold his gun, of course. Like I mentioned, not a bad figure, still a good figure, and if you want to do some army building, it's still a really decent size. And as I mentioned, you can flip the legs around, and it hinders your articulation slightly, but I think it looks much better. So I do still recommend this figure, but just be warned of some of his flaws. So, this is Nary Transformed, I hope you enjoyed this review, and it'll be a good day. Take care.